isn't it interesting? Look at this. Isn't it interesting that he says, love covers sins and hospitality shouldn't grumble. See the connect, see the parallel? Love covers the stuff that would tend to make us grumble. Right? I don't like you. <laughs> so if I have to show you hospitality, I'm going to grumble. I don't want to have her over. I don't want to have them over. They're hard to get along with. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Well, I thought you just covered that. No, you didn't. See how it's connected? The Bible is a supernatural book. It's not calling. This is not a how to win friends and influence people lifestyle lesson because you can't get rid of your grumbling. Grumbling comes from the heart. This is a work of God. You've got to have God. That's why you're praying. Lord, I'm a grumbler. I'm sorry. Please come and fill me with love to people, single people and married people, so that I'm drawn out of my self-preoccupation and thinking about others and including them in my life. That's what the end time lifestyle of the church should look like. Karen Maines wrote a book years and years ago called Open Heart, Open Home. I love that title. Open Heart, Open Home. The Apostle John spoke of how our hearts are opened to others, especially those who make us grumble. Here's what he said. You can remember it because you're all familiar with John 3.16. Be as familiar with 1 John 3.16. Can you remember it that way? This is what 1 John 3.16 says. By this we know, love, that Jesus laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. But if anyone has this world's goods, like a picnic basket or something, anybody has this world's goods and sees his brother single, married, in need, yet closes his heart against him, how can the love of God abide in him? In other words, our hearts are opened to brothers and sisters in need by being loved by Jesus on the cross. If your heart is not at least leaning towards opening to others, your problem is not that you don't have the right list, but that you don't see the cross as clearly as you should. You don't feel loved by Jesus as much as you should. 